Hi, this is a Silver Hustler here, just with a few items I found from the charity shop today. Um, I'm going to do two videos, this is just the individual bits and pieces, the next one will be the job lot, so I've got quite a bit in there today. But first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Tom the English Picker for putting his video up yesterday about the finding of his um, undated 20p. Um, so this morning I ran down to the bank and took out 50 quid in 20p's with some weird looks from the cashiers. Um, just spent a bit of time going through them, didn't find anything particularly special, but I did find um, one error coin. Um, it's got a bit of a blob, it almost looks like a coffee bean instead of a the first zero. And the second zero is kind of dragged down in the corner a bit. Um, Nothing particularly special, but it's probably my first error coin. First time I've actually probably looked for them. I have got a few silver error coins, but they're um, not in the usual current, uh, not in the usual pocket change. Uh, the queen's also got a bit of a hole in the chin. Can't really make out on this, and some unusual lining above the R. I don't know if that scratches or part of an unusual press. So, yeah, and on to the, the charity shop. First of all, something I don't really know much about, but pottery and ceramics from a 10p box. Got a nice bit of a Royal Worcester, sort of bird related, says Royal Worcester um, ceramics on the back, make porcelain, sorry. Uh, this is just English bone china. It actually looks quite old, the marks on the back are pretty basic but again 10p and some Wedgwood. Uh, I don't really think I'll be able to sell these individually on eBay but I'll probably put them on a job lot, see how it goes. And then something I could not resist in a charity shop. One quid, ran and stimpy mug, pretty much unused, no marks, no chips. I'm, I haven't really checked it out to see if it's collectible but I'll probably keep it myself, I quite like it. Now on to the other buys. Uh, firstly, before I go on to the silver, a bit of electro plate. Um, nothing particularly special. Um, and quite tarnished, but quite nicely designed small sugar tongs. EPNS, so electro plate. Made 50p. I'll, uh, I've got a few more somewhere else, so I might put them in a job lot or see if I can do anything with them. Okay, the first bit of silver. This was 50p, just hanging up with the costume jewellery. Nice Indian design. Um, it is hallmarked. 925 on both the clasp and the ring. Weighs just over 5 grams, so for 50p, not bad. This next piece I got from uh, one of the charity shops I go regularly. They know me quite well in there, unfortunately. Um, it's a Tiffany 925 bracelet, quite small. Um, it had a broken ring here, so they let me have it for a quid, and I just took one off a necklace and put it on there. So a five minute mend. Tiffany goes for quite a premium on eBay, don't know why, but I can't see anything particularly special in it. But if they do, I'm happy to sell it to them. Then uh, in a 10p rummage box, I got this. I've already got one before, but for 10p, couldn't turn it down. Just a little uh, 25th year of King George's reign. Uh, it's just Cooper Nickel, but there's the pin on the top, which is actually a sort of almost rosy gold colour. I doubt they use gold on it, but I'll have a little test of that just in case. Now. A little watch I bought. I don't, again, not really sh too sure about watches, but I seem to have a, a good accidental eye, maybe. I've made some nice profit on them before from charity shops. This is an Oris. Swiss made. Nurse's fob watch. So, uh, pretty basic, your average nurse's fob watch. Shows a bit of yellowing on the actual face, but, um, let's see, it's a bit of erratic timing there. I need to give it a good wind. But, yeah, five quid, not really sure how much I'll get for this. I might just put it on eBay, or there's a guy I know who sells a lot of watches. 
get a bit of advice off him. Um, and on eBay, got four nice tobacco tins. Got a Golden Virginia, Rhodian Mixture, St. Julian, and Old Holborn. Actually got five of them for five quid. Uh, one of the older ones in better condition I took to the local antique shop. And he just gave me four quid straight up for it to put in his cabinet. And he's actually got it listed at £7.50. So, um, yeah, I've got a quid to make on these four. And then I've uh, hit neutral. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I can easily see you getting a quid each of these. Um, but at the moment, just using them for uh, coin storage. But, yeah, that's the end of my uh, individual items. I'll have another one coming up shortly about the job lots I've got which will include coins, gold, silver, god knows what else, flatware, a bit of cutlery. So yep, that'll be coming up shortly. Okay. Thanks for listening and stay tuned.